Hey beautiful people, welcome to Touch of Sea Natural. If you want to see how I made this acne toner using salicyclic acid, then keep on watching. Welcome to another episode where I show you how to make this acne toner. If you've not subscribed kindly hit the subscribe button and then welcome to all our new subscribers first of all i'm using this salicyclic acid powder this toner is very good for ingrown hairs for acne for all kinds of acne black head white heads to fade scars as well this is a salicyclic acid powder which is what is the main active ingredient for this formulation so I'm measuring out my salicyclic acid powder. And then the trick for this formulation is dissolving your salicyclic acid properly. So for this, I'm using the propylene glycol. I'm going to be using it in dissolving my salicyclic acid powder. A lot of people struggle with dissolving their salicyclic acid powder, which was one of the issues I had when I first started trying to formulate the salicyclic acid all the way back in 2021. So first, I'm adding the propylene glycol into the salicyclic acid powder that I've already measured out. Then up next, I'm using my polysorbate 80. Polysorbate 80 is a solubilizer. This solubilizer is going to ensure that my melted and dissolved salicyclic acid in the propylene glycol stays that way. Sometimes when you melt, sometimes when you use this acid salicyclic acid citric acid and the rest in making formulations you find out that they recrystallize much later on so this polysorb 80 is to stop that from happening so i'm just giving it a mix and then you can see that it is still cloudy it's not yet dissolved so i'm going to be placing it on a double boiler to melt it down properly so the next thing i'm doing is to use my buffer solution which is a sodium hydroxide buffer if you want to see how i created this buffer solution you can click the link in the description box it is there where i've already formulated and shown you how to test and balance your ph then the next thing i went in with is my distilled water after adding my buffer solution i'm adding my distilled water because i'm doing this step because i want to balance my ph bring it down properly before i add before i add my salicyclic acid so i'm using the sodium hydroxide to buff the ph already so that my ph is not going to be something so high or something so crazy for this formulation i'm going with a final ph of 3.5 to 4.5 any ph in between is good so at this point i have melted my face a which contained my salicyclic acid propylene glycol and polysorbate 80 so i'm just giving it a little stir to melt out any other bits of salicyclic acid that still remains in the formulation at this point this part of the formulation the phase a is hot because it's just coming from the double boiler where i said you need to double boil it to mix it properly so i'm going to be pouring it into the phase b and you can see it is cloudy at this point for me i got a bit scared i was like it's going to be milky but no it didn't turn out milky because of course it doesn't have any form of oil so when, why do you just what you need to do is to keep stirring and it's going to clear up some more so i'm just stirring giving it a stir the next thing i'm going to do is to check my ph to see if i arrived at what i wanted i told you that for this formulation we want to get a ph of 3.5 to 4.5 for the salicyclic acid to work properly and give you the desired results so i'm just grabbing a beaker and then i have my distilled water what this distilled water is going to do is to rinse my ph meter that's what i'm doing at this point i'm just rinsing out my ph meter if you want to see and understand all about ph and how to balance the ph click on the link in the description box where i showed how to check balance ph prepare your ph buffer solution and things like that so i'm just checking it putting it into my salicyclic acid toner 
and as you can see i'm getting a ph of 3.8 great isn't that that is what i was going for 3.5 to 4.5 so i've gotten what i want and then the next thing i'll proceed to do is to add my broad spectrum preservative which is my liquid jamal plus so i'm just adding liquid jamal plus in the desired measurement in which i stated out in my formula so here i've added my liquid jamal plus i'm going to give it a mix and of course as you can see we have our toner this acne toner is very good like i said it's great for ingrown hairs it's great for bumps as well and then it is great for all forms of acne um, cystic acne any kind of acne white head black head please if you like this video give it a thumbs up hit the like button and if you want to see more videos like this be the first to know when we post new videos kindly subscribe to our channel thank you so so much for sticking with us up to this point of the video thank you for watching if you replicate this video please leave a comment in the comment section and tell us what you got this is our final formulation it is clear it is good to go all you need are cutting ground cutting boards to apply it on your face thank you bye bye